Hey everybody, it's Triple L coming in with a Rising of the Shield Hero Viewer Guide video. It's going to be a short one today, focusing on events that occurred in episode 11, specifically the things that happened to Naofumi and Philo, uh, the Dragon Rage, so to speak. The anime gives us clues about what was going on, but there are a few spots that you may not have noticed or some small details that weren't really talked about. So that's what this video is, effectively a quick trivia video. So quick recap, Naofumi activates the Shield of Rage or the Rash Shield, whatever you want to call it, interchangeable, but when he activates he is overwhelmed by the dragon's anger. The anime does a really good job of explaining Naofumi's reaction to all of this, and on that front it's pretty good. Anyway, the shield undergoes a change as denoted by the grow up screen, and Naofumi's armor changes to look like male. Philo also gets affected as observed by Retalia in the anime. That's all the stuff you can see, so now let's move on into the more obscure details. So why did Philo go crazy? The first thing I want to point out is something that you might have caught. Uh, the anime paid special care to point it out that Philo has a purple glow in her tummy. That is the dragon's core that she ate. That's the link that allows her to resonate. It's because of this crystal that she was influenced by the dragon's rage as well. But there is a little bit more to that. But before that, it's important to note, as Naofumi pointed out in the novel, it also looked like she was unable to distinguish the real enemy. She turned on another random monster in the area and started to attack it instead. Just pointing out that uh, Philo really was going kind of berserk there. Anyway, you might be asking, why was it resonating in the first place? Like, what is the mechanism behind that? And for this, we will need to look at Naofumi's shield. So Naofumi's shield changed in the episode. And that's obvious. After all, the grow up scene is the biggest indication of that. There is an upgrade happening. Uh, although, I'm going to point out real quick, uh, the anime says the dragon zombie shield is the one influencing the growth, which is technically correct, but it's not the full source. The manga denotes it as the nucleus, and the novel denotes it as the core. Basically, it's the core that Naofumi got from the dragon that is the actual real cause of this incident. But since the core crystal is also what unlocked the dragon zombie shield, that's why you can say that the shield can influence it. I mean, just you have to remember it's the core crystal at its base. It's also important to note that because at this point in the anime, uh, Naofumi still can't use the dragon zombie shield. So it's kind of weird to imagine an inactive shield being able to influence another shield like that. It makes more sense when you consider it the core like that material is what's causing the effect. Anyway, that aside, grow up caused the shield to become the shield of rage too. And that shield came with the following special effects. Self-Burning Curse, Strength Up, Raging Dragon's Roar, and Kindred Frenzy. Here, this one. Keep in mind Kindred Frenzy. This is what causes the reaction in Philo. The shield of this feature causes the piece of the dragon to resonate. Now before moving on, I want to point out some visual changes. Throughout the episode, you can't really notice the change in design on the shield, but the manga makes it a lot more clear. So here's a shot. As you can see, it has the shape of a dragon, kind of, especially dragon wings. Now, it's obscured for the majority of the episode, but there is a close-up of the shield, and it shows us the small detail changes accentuating the dragon's wing. So that was pretty cool. You couldn't spot it, but if you were careful enough and you paid attention to the scenes, you could see that, okay, no, there was an actual change in the shield that was distinct. I, I found it pretty cool. Anyway, why did Naofumi's armor change? Okay, so you may have already realized this, but the armor changed into a dark black armor because of the shield's resonance. I mean, we've already established. The shield can affect things based on if the components of the dragon are inside the thing. The barbarian armor itself had a piece of the dragon core embedded into it, and that core is what responded to the magic that was coming from the shield. Um, from the way it reads in the novel, it sounds like the armor is separate from the shield. Like, it's because specifically of the core resonance of the current barbarian armor, but the armor itself can only exist because of the shield. That said, if we were to get into technicalities, it means if you pull out whatever components of the dragon are within Naofumi's armor, it stands to reason that the armor wouldn't change along with the shield whenever Naofumi goes into Shield of Rage. Okay, and with that, we are winding down. There's pretty much just one more detail I want to tell you about how the shield works that was revealed in a later episode. So recall that in episode 13, Naofumi uses the shield, but Philo doesn't go crazy. It, this was specifically when Philo was captured by Motoyasu. Naofumi came up with a reason for this, and allow me to read it for you guys. I'd forgotten. Whenever I switched to the Shield of Rage, Philo went crazy, but with Philo in human form, nothing had happened. Why? I suddenly noticed my shield emitting a red something. It flew at Philo, but bounced off of her. 
I wonder if that hoop was somehow deflecting any assist spells or stat boosts. Her movement was probably restricted by protective magic, which had the side effect of blocking my spell. So this just reinforces that the shield is casting magic through the frenzied kindred special effect. So as long as you're able to disrupt that particular special effect, in theory, you could imagine now Fumi coming up with workarounds for this rage effect in the future. And I think that's a pretty cool detail that could be taken advantage of in the future given that we know how it works. That's pretty much it. There were just a few little cool details. I think the things that were valuable here were knowing exactly what happened to the shield, exactly what caused it, exactly what caused it to change, and the exact mechanics of what causes Philo to change. I think that's pretty worthwhile. So with those points, I have nothing more impactful to add. Although I will say that the dragon wasn't too happy about Ren, and we did see that in the anime in a little bit of a flashback. So there may be one more detail surrounding that particular scene, but it may come up in a future Shield Hero episode, so keep your eyes peeled for it. I, I feel like it'll be kind of obvious when they do it in the anime, but otherwise, yeah, that's it for realsies. I'm done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. If you want any other um, explanation type videos, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll read through the first couple of comments and see what we can find. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope you have an absolutely great day.